On September 3rd, 2021, I was tagged in a post on Instagram asking about the potential for an insect that was existing on the root system of a cannabis plant, whether the identity was Rhizoechus, which is a type of root mealybug. After looking at the footage and some of the pictures in corroboration with the person who was asking the question, I came to the conclusion that this indeed was a member of the Rhizoechidae, which is a group of mealybugs that have recently been given the family status taxonomically, being risen out of the mealybug family Pseudococcidae. This observation was made in Chile, specifically in Santiago, the capital city. And as far as I am concerned, this is one of the first examples of a root mealybug in cannabis. And it may become a larger problem in the greater cannabis cultivation space. There are many species of root mealybugs that exist, but this taxonomic group is not very well studied. There are various pest species that are already known, and it's not known whether this is one of those pest species. There are no official treatment regimens for root mealybugs on cannabis roots in particular, but there may be some preliminary possibilities for people who deal with this problem without official guidance. Botanical insecticides are an option like azadiractin or pyrethrin, as well as entomopathogenic fungi like Bouveria bassiana, which have been trialed in other contexts. The signs and symptoms of root mealybugs are a powdery, white, waxy production around the root system, which can sometimes be misconstrued as mycorrhizal fungi, like in this case. However, the root mealybug should be pretty obvious if you actually take a look at the roots themselves and see small, oblong, white, crawling insects, with small antennae located at the head region. Root mealybugs typically do not move much, but their waxy production can give them away. Currently, I'm advising a treatment regimen for this particular case and will report back with results for that treatment for other people to utilize in their circumstances.